Uh, Daniel, we haven't heard a thing you guys said to start over. Aiden's on Goshintai. It's, he, don't play with Mori. Chris is on Ghost of the Tormod. It's good. Calvin's on Sephiroth. Dopamine. He it's is good. really fun though. Really and I'm, I'm playing Quasar. I merged the Esper colors with Gavi and put it on a budget of $125. Um, that's it. That's, you guys want to play Magic? Do we have a card game? Do you have a card game? I have a card Let's game do in it. my hand. Yo, let me pick. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, let, I you go, man. Yeah. This wasn't a problem last time we did it. There's no history here. Just fucking completely destroy this setup. Uh, thank you. Who's ready? One, two, three, three go. Ah! It's Chris. Damn. I don't know. It's Chris. I don't Chris have it fucked it up. I'm keeping. I've got to keep. I have magic cards. Alright, on top, upkeep draw. It's time to play some magic together. Here is a dead eye tracker. Dead eye tracker. Alright. Uh, draw. Guy, can you do me another favor? We're a little faint. Go to the, uh, get off OBS. Go to the Scarlet. Do you see that th thing lighting up when I talk? Yep. Bring it up a few ticks. Few ticks, few ticks. How, how, how much higher did you bring it? Clockwise. Like, a, a hair and a half. What's a hair and a half? There's 12 digits on a clock. How many digits did you just turn it? Maybe one. Do, do like half of one. There you go. Now move your hand so I can see the light. Light! Yeah, that should be good. Let me know if that's better, guys. I don't know what's happened, but things have changed. Anyway, Aiden, you're up. Alright, I'm gonna play a Prairie Stream Tap. Oh, slow. Draw for turn. Hey, speaking of slow, here's Rafine's Tower Taps. <laughs> Fast turn. Ta-da! Oh. Oh, I try see. Let's try I see. Yeah, I see what you did there. I, me, myself, and I, I'm gonna play a choked estuary tapped. Go. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna draw. Uh, I'm gonna keep playing untapped lands because I play basics. Uh, here is a sinister starfish. That le that's legal. He surveils one. Yeah. That's okay. it. Uh, uh, boop. Boop. <sighs> You're gonna be getting a bunch of life. Yeah, I've heard that before. Untap. Draw. Oh, that's neat. Well, um, when you show me a loaded gun, you know, I kind of have to <laughs> respect fair, it. Fair. Play a forest. Tap. Um, play path to the world tree. We're going to look for a basic, reveal it, put it in our hand. It's going to be a swamp. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Untap and draw. All right, we're going to do a swamp as my land for turn. And then I'll just pass. That's it for me. Well, I'm going to untap, upkeep, draw step. I want to play a Swamp is my land for turn, and I want to play an Arcane Signet. Yep. Ooh, baby. That's good. That's all I got. Pass. All right. Untap. Upkeep. I'm going to surveil one. Hmm. You know what? I kind of want that. Oh, you want that card? Is it a good one? Uh, it's an okay one. I'm going to play a Shipwreck Marsh. That is legal. Uh, tap for three. Here's my commander. Goes to Ramirez. There he is. Uh, I get your four again. God. Go damn. ahead. All right. Untap. Draw. I got to keep you fair. <laughs> I'm playing fair. I just I haven't even played a spell yet. Yeah, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Shh, relax. I'm not holding our cane signet. Fucking relax. Okay, man. Play our swamp. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> We're gonna tap three and play Enchantress's Presence. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. All right, uh, pass. End of your turn, I'm gonna plane cycle uh, Timeless Dragon. I love that card. Let's go grab the planes. Um, I think in this case, I literally just want planes. I think I need some lands to come into play untapped here. Did you know that Orgovian Enchantress is like $75? What? Yeah, yeah. 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 The Shroud Enchantress. Oh, the, the best Enchantress? Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. $75. Enchantments are just so nice lately. Isn't that on like the reserve list? I don't Isn't think it so. It's not on the it reserve list. It is old. List. It is old. It, it's gotten a recent reprint. Has it? Has it? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it has. It has a new, it has a new art. Well, new border. That one's like fifty or sixty. No, it, it's seventy and seventy-five. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Dragon Moon. So much. We haven't thought about uh, uh, Jeggy in uh, Koshinta yet. Wouldn't Jagantha that be good in Goshantai? I'm, I'm watching the cards he plays right now. If he doesn't play anything with uh, double of the same pip, it, I think it w is. Uh, there is some stuff with double pip, like Ilana Blossoms. And... But you can make that work with your mana base. We'll do a Plains as my land for turn. Yeah. And then uh, I think I'll just pass. pass. You, you really might not need a companion with this guy, though. He's so... You're okay. I'm going to do this thing where I untap, and I draw stuff. Yeah. And I will... Play a command tower as my land for turn. Sure. Um, and then I would like to 
tap for one, two, to play a Felwar Stone. That's good. And then I'll tap for one, two, to play a Priest of Fel Rites. Um, yep. yeah. And then I pass the turn. Untap, upkeep. I'm gonna throw one. Yeah. Um, I kind of want that. Is it sinister enough? It's sinister enough. <laughs> um, I want to play a Cephalic Coliseum. Mm. Um, More fishes. No fish everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Um, well, then Rotonda says, Get that mana hoodie. I'm assuming they're talking about you, Ike. Get that mana hoodie? Yeah, where's your hoodie? Where's your You're known for wearing a hoodie. Trade oh, yeah. Hoodie. Well, no, this I have to wear. He's got to have the male genitalia. Mateo's gift. Yeah, Mateo. The fuck? Male genitalia. Guy's wearing his too. I haven't put mine on yet. Uh, I'm going to play Skydamon. Yeah, Skydamon's fine. Uh, I'm going to move to combat. That's him, man. I still haven't cast a spell. Yeah. Mr. Enchantress's presence. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get you for two. All right. Uh, before damage, um, I... am Jitsu. Oh. I'm actually gonna cycle the Baramore. Oh. Okay. Uh, then that'll trigger go through Ramirez. I'm gonna target his Baramore and put it back in my hand. Nice. Wow. Nice. Uh, go ahead. Hey. Untap. Draw. See what I did there? It's funny. No, my cycle edge draws me a card in return. You're, you're a funny man. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, Calvin, why aren't you wearing your shirt? Yeah, Calvin. Trying to think of the right joke to come to my head. <laughs> <laughs> you can just say penis, that's fine. Yeah. Penis. <laughs> uh, you can say okay, big wiener. I guess... I have that. <laughs> nice, dude. Packing heat. I, it, it's a problem. We're gonna <laughs> play Temple it's, of it's Abandon. Not <laughs> Scrizzle. I need a doctor. This is not a face. I need health. Do we want that? No, we don't want that. But, um, yeah. And then we're gonna pay three to get uh, our boy. Umori? You're gonna get Umori? Oh. Yeah, you know, it's. This man's being mad efficient. We're gonna use him for one. Oh man. Pass. End of your turn, I'm gonna cycle Reconnaissance Mission. Yep. Ooh. It feels right at home. <laughs> draw for turn. Let's do you a. Don't get wild research though. Let's do an exotic orchard. Um, He's my commander. I think I have to at this point. I can't wait too long for it. Um, let's cast a. Probably want to do this. Yeah. Let's play a soaring. And then let's drop my commander, Quasar. The base. Quasa. It's all over. <laughs> Not even close. Pass turn. <laughs> it's all over for you. During your end step. I'm gonna discard Radiant Solar. Yep. Okay, now it's over. I'm gonna go into the. I think the. Lost Mine of Fandelver. Seems legal. Right? Right? Is that foil? Yeah, there were foil ones. Yeah, they came oh. out with three foil ones. I got them. I still got mine in my Shirak bag. Nice. I should bring a Shirak back. A Shirak was sweet. Put this right here. Uh, and then gonna uh, put this right here. I gain three life. I scry one. I do not want a terramorphic expanse. Goodbye. Yeah. Are you sure? Very positive. I now untap. Upkeep. Draw step. I am going to uh, tap for okay. this and this and this. And this. In order to play Sephiroth. It's good. Yeah. And then I would like to pay three life, tapping and cracking Priest of Fell Rites. Yeah. In order to reanimate Radiant Solar. It's good. Trigger on the stack, I am going to make a treasure token. There Dude. it is. That happens before anything else. Where is the thing? I had the thing. And then I did. We need a vape cam, bruh. <laughs> I, got, I got the Jam Monsters uh, mixed berry, it's so good. Mm -hmm. I had that one yet. I, I know I've had some. I, I think I had the blackberry. It, the blackberry is really good too. But I've got that one in 50 mil. That one's only uh, 24. Still way stronger than what I was Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Radiant Solar enters the battlefield. I'm going to venture one more time. I'm going to. Each opponent loses a life and I gain a life. Yeah, that happens. Ouch. There we go. Um, 
and then I'm going to pass the turn. That's legal. All right, I'm tapped. So legal. Um, upkeep. Uh, I'm gonna surveil him. This man keeps surveilling. Um, you just surred your last veil. Uh, I'm going to bend a voracious great shark. <laughs> just <tripping> Comedy. <laughs> you going to grab it, Aiden? Uh, I don't know who this is. But oh. I keep calling. Sorry. Aiden, we have Taco Bell and DoorDash. Um. Hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry. I guess it's his drug dealer. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it. He do be getting crack. It's whoever he sells the livers to. He's tapped out. I don't think he has interaction. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'm not worried about him interacting. I don't think anyone can interact. I don't think Calvin's holding that man up to interact with you specifically. Yeah, I need to hold him in and interact with him specifically. He's coming up as a Montana member, but it was I'll move to extra. combat. Whatever, it's fine. Calvin, I'm going to hit you for two. If exactly. your creature's got toughness three or greater, they can't block it. That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, everyone thinks he has flying. He doesn't. He just has... Weird skulk. <laughs> yeah, weird skulk. <laughs> He's got ghost walk. Did I get attacked? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll take two. He's uh, all right. Uh, trigger goes through Ramirez. I'm gonna put this racist great shark in my hand. Yeah. If you're curious what it does, it's a uh, five mana five four with flash, and when it enters the battlefield, counter target creature or artifact spell. Yeah. yeah. Um. Wow. Hold all that mana up, boy. I'm gonna cycle this bear more because I don't need to. Anymore. That's a sweet one. Ooh. Coward. I'm gonna hold him in. Go ahead. Alright. Untap. Draw. Ah, damn, darn. So if I had double white, I could help with this situation, but unfortunately I don't. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested in helping with the situation. Yeah. Why can't you gift players land? That should be a so mechanic in this game. We're gonna set up for double white, I guess. We'll play. There just be a deck that just gives people land. Vivid yeah. Grove. Yeah. Um, you can play your own luck and give people mana. It just burns them if you give them too much. Like, I don't know, give them infinite mana and kill them with it. Your luck can't give white though. That's fair. And so. I guess we'll play our boy. Uh, we'll play Umori. There he is. All right. He's out there. That oh, I, we're gonna name enchantment. That makes sense. Pass. Draw. Did you just add a? Did you just pay seven mana for a four or five? Yeah. You did. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna play Reliquary Tower and pass the turn. Wait, did you trigger your commander? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> it just always happens. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I think I prefer the the one life over the two two cat. I, the free cycle lets you get away with a lot of hell, a lot of, yeah, a lot of bullshit. Really, yeah, like Decree of Silence, not as good in this deck. Yeah, turns out. Yeah. <laughs> You're good, by the way, yep. On tap. Uh, right, you still got new perspectives, though. Hey, and I do play it. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> you also get to play Titanic Reformation in this deck. There's a blue two drop enchantment that says for one colorless, you pick up a land, or for one colorless, discard a land and draw a card. Oh, trade secrets. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. I am going to tap for one, two, three. Three. I want to play Nadar. Pee pee poo poo. Sel selfless Paladin. Yeah, that's fine. Well, he knows I have a race of three shark. However, here's, here's the funny part. It doesn't matter. Because even if I counter it, he can probably get it. If you counter it, that means a creature card entered my graveyard. Yeah. Which <laughs> he gets it anyway. First, yeah. So, yeah, you can have a Nadar. I have a Nadar. Venture. Nadar is going to enter the battlefield. Uh, he has a Venture Trigger. She has a Venture Trigger. Yep. Okay. Or I guess he, Radiant Solar, is a dude. Is it a dude? It is a dude. Oh. Um, you don't get too many dude angels in it's Magic. That's D D thing. How is Nadar spelled? Oh, N-A-D-A-A-R. A-A-R. Yep. Is... All right. I'm going to go to draw a card. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then I've completed a dungeon. Uh, which means Sephiroth triggers targeting Priest of Thalrites. That's fine. In response. Ooh, in response. I'm gonna Ghost Quarter to Command Tower. Okay. And then I will activate Devon Navigator, targeting you. 
because I have to exile two cards from an opponent's graveyard. Oh, okay. So I couldn't do it with just one. I mm -hmm. get it. So you're killing the priest. Yep. Exiling it, to be sure. Yeah, so I don't get the reanimate. Sephiroth just does a nothing. I still have nice. ghost quarter. That yeah, it's it. very nice. Yeah, this you guy, can keep picking that ghost quarter up. Huh? You can keep picking that ghost quarter up, can't you? No, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's it has to eventually has to be, be, be sacrificed. It, it has to be discarded. Uh, mm -hmm. I can, I can keep picking up Baron Wars and stuff yeah. like that, but I can't keep picking up Ghost Quarters. Uh, let's break cycling cards, everybody. I play Baron War in this deck. Haha. Uh -huh. Got him. That there. Um, all right. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I got to do my explore trigger. So I reveal the top card. I can either put it into my graveyard or leave it on top. I'm going to put it in my graveyard. And he gets a counter. Uh, is it only if you leave it? Oh no, 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 no. As, long as, as long as he doesn't have land. land or as or long as he's not land, he will get yeah, the counter yeah, yeah. regardless. Yeah, yeah. Because he's an explorer. Yeah. By the way, guy, by the way, chat, this card, did I navigate, I mean, did I tracker? He's real good. It's very good. Yeah. yeah. A one drop that just exiles stuff from people's graveyard, and he gets to explore, and he helps your graveyard. I love I mean. the explorer. This is my budget pick of the day. <laughs> does it tap to do that? Yeah, it does. Yeah, that makes sense. That's probably the part that makes it not as good. But it's, I have another venture trigger. Yeah. yeah. Two moon, uh, two moon Annihilation, each player loses a life. Yeah. Uh, seems good. Um, then I have two basic lands now. Prairie String. Yep, four in hand or three? Uh, four in hand. Uh, and I'm gonna do this now. Incarnation Technique. Oh, yo. And I I am going to demonstrate with, uh, you just did me a fucky though. Cause you were about to put a priest of honor, a uh, uh, right into play, come on. Yeah. Hey, you really Come want to give him <laughs> more creatures? Oh, oh, it's likely me. My yeah. creatures are very low value. I guess that's fair. Yeah, I was trying to, I was trying to do a thing yeah, where like I was like, I maybe don't he has like a bone in that deck. He can pick who he wants, but I do play bone miser in this deck. Yeah. <laughs> it's somewhere in there. I, I do actually think, because you care it's, about filling your graveyard and you care about no go. I know what I care about. Does. Filling my I know what Goshen does. <laughs> You're not going to reanimate it. Yeah. You're put an enchantment in the grave. Uh, it's Adrian. It's me. Darn it. Yeah. Alright, um, <laughs> I'm gonna leave your copy and yours on the stack. We're gonna resolve mine. Is that cool? Yeah. Fetid Pools, Teferi Master of Time, River Serpent, Primak Escapee, and Valiant Rescuer. I'm gonna reanimate Valiant Rescuer. Jesus. Still with that on the stack. Oh no. Is that the one that made dudes? Yeah. Yeah. Still with that on the stack. I'm gonna cycle Boon of the Wishgiver. Triggering Valiant Rescuer. Can I have one of the fancy one ones? I like your one ones. And when I cycle it, I'll gain a life and you lose a life. And I'll draw this card. Then I will, for free, pay two life and cycle Street Wraith. Valiant Rescuer only triggers the first time each turn, but I'll gain a life and you lose a life and I'll draw a card. Then I'll tap for two. I'm going to cycle Angel Song. I'll gain a life, you'll lose a life, and I'll draw a card. We all lose a life? No, just hit. It's a target. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to... Summary Dismissal? No, I don't play Summer Dismissal. That'd be sweet, though. <laughs> I'm going to cycle Polluted Mire. Same deal. Um, I'll gain a life, you'll lose a life. I'll draw a card. Then I'm going to Shadow of the Grave. Oh, wait, no. That does Pick that. those all back up. Yep. Proceed. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Continue. Uh, incarnation Technique. First one. Violent Tumor. Hey. No. That doesn't sound good. Oh, wait, Asian is that like the <laughs> Asian of boobs? Actually, I'm not even. That's oh, you know, that's the violent treachery. tumor. I thought that was a new one. I don't order. have shit he could, that he really wants from me with an injured treachery. Yeah. I guess maybe the Dead Eye Tracker, but having to hold up two mana forever is kind of annoying. Um, what, let me double check what's in my hand. Uh, what's in your wallet? Uh, it's cards. That's what's in my wallet. Uh, if I grab the violent tumor, it then is about uh, fishing for the right stuff. Yeah, um, we could just which is what we're gonna do. We could just be dead right now, almost. So we get violent tumor, but these yep. creatures all also entered the graveyard, right? Yep. Um, so the way we're gonna order this is uh, trigger, trigger, trigger. All right. That's up okay. because I had to put them on the stack after the spell finishes resolving. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. resolve violent tumor before I do more venturing. Yeah. Which means I'm gonna go put a. Magic the Gathering Cardo. And I think it is going to be... Uh, a set out. A what? 
a sack outlet would be the safest thing. Um, we're gonna get, uh, what is, what is that four drop? Demir Houseguard. Yeah. I'm putting Demir Houseguard into the bin. I think he was a sack outlet? Or? Yeah, he has Transmute uh, for another four drop, but then he's a sack outlet. He's very good in uh, Sephiroth's builds. Because you can uh, transmute him away for a spark double. Mm. Um, but that's in the bin. We've are that, and then we have to resolve this venture trigger and then this venture trigger from a creature entering the, uh, the battlefield. Yep. I'm gonna go into Obliet. Um, in Obliet, I have to discard a card, sacrifice a creature, sacrifice an artifact, and sacrifice a land. We're gonna grab this uh, island. We might. Have done. <laughs> that, that was this uh, copy. And then we have to resolve going into the Atropel. Uh, where the Atropel is just a 4-4. Four, four. I should have a 4-4 four, four somewhere. If I don't, it's now Zapdos. Uh, it's a 4-4. Four, four. We have completed a dungeon, which means Sephiroth has another trigger. And we are going to put the Demir House Guard into play. Yep. Uh, before Incarnation Technique goes off, Radiant Solar sees the Demir House Guard enter the battlefield. I get to venture it again. Can it sack itself? Demir House Guard can sack Don't you have to finish resolving Incarnation Technique? No, there were a bunch of uh, venture triggers that went on the stack from the, the first, first Incarnation one, Technique. The, the, uh, the copy resolving before the original. Where did you get out the copy, though? Uh, so the copy got me the Violin Tumor. tumor. Got, that came into play already. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. it got to the, and then it triggered yeah. a bunch of stuff. Oh my yeah. god, the chains. And, but that Incarnation Technique is also the first time a creature card entered the graveyard. Mm -hmm. But then, it's all part of the same resolution. Radiant Soul Hour trigger when you put the Violin Tumor into play. Mm -hmm. um, so then I had to put those all on the stack. Yep. And I put them on the stack such that I will get, no, I will get the Sephiroth reanimate before the next Incarnation Technique happens. Um, which means I have another Venture trigger on the stack. Um, and looking at what is available, I think we just go back into... Uh, the Tomb of Annihilation. Yep. Each player loses a life. Dink, 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 dink. Um, and just looking at these options, I think we are going to, while, before we go into here, I'm gonna sacrifice Nadar to Demir Houseguard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna go into the next information technique. Yep. One, two, three, Four, five. Yeehaw. This is when things are bad. Because now I can get Jinji. Uh, Jinji, that's a new one. I have, I have a fancy looking Jinji. I have a foil full mm. art, bro. Ooh. I would love that. Uh, Jinji, comma, the midnight sky. Is that uh, the one you have? Hmm? Is that the one you have? Oh, I just have the full art. Oh, got it. Uh, foil, foil looks pretty hot. He's going to enter the battlefield, and I have a venture trigger. I'm going to go back into Obliette, which means I'm going down and more resources, where I have to discard another card, and another artifact, so and another deal. creature, um, and a land. So oh look at me. Oh my god. God damn it. Right? Yep. I have to discard all of these. Doesn't matter what we're dead. When Junji dies, I can choose either each opponent discards two cards and loses two life, or put target non dragon creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under my control. This is still before the last technique, right? Yep. yep. Yeah. This no. This no. Is this the, is the resolution. This, this is, is, this okay. is the last technique. Okay. Um, um, the techniques are done. No more technique. Okay. Yeah. Which means technique. I get to get Nadar, Selfless Paladin. Mm -hmm. oh, it's gonna the when Nadar, Selfless Paladin enters the battlefield, I oh, get two venture triggers. I know. So one is, is another one of these, and then we completed a dungeon, uh, which means Sephiroth is going to trigger, and I am going to grab. Uh, any creature in here, and I think we are gonna get this time. No, we'll get Junji again. And the reason why we're gonna get Junji again is this gets me one more Radiant Solar trigger. Um, I lost two life from Junji. I don't know if I did that before. Uh, Junji, this enters the battlefield. I will get Tomb of Annihilation. Each player loses a life, um, and then we have one more Venture trigger, uh, which means I go into Obliet. Uh, which means I have to sacrifice another land, I could discard another card, and I have to sacrifice uh, another creature, and I do not have another artifact. Uh, Junji. Right? 
Uh, I believe so. It's not a cost being paid, it's an effect. Yeah, so for what it's yeah. worth... These if that was a cost, you actually couldn't go into that yet, but it's not a cost. For what it's worth, you can, in response to these triggers, get more adventure triggers. Like, the room, entering a room causes the trigger oblique to go over. And over then you can, you can venture and you past, can venture past, past yeah. it. Right. If you want to. Uh, but Junji died, I'm doing the same thing. Hey, uh, Junji can't target the dark. It's a dragon. It's a dragon. Oh. <laughs> so one less venture trigger. So then we have to back up then, right? I uh, we caught that. Thank you, Epic Gamer. Yeah, wow. good call. I didn't even and, think it. And like half a I dragon. Mean, Nadar doesn't look like a dragon. So then where were we? He's dragon born. So you have, one less, dragon. you have one less venture. Doesn't have, he doesn't even have wings. And I actually messed with a combo. You can get Yeah, I think, I think this locks you out of infinite because of the way Junji works. Yes. Damn. You can get Violin Tumor and get some. else. The one time the Nardar being a goddamn dragon. Yeah. It's like, can, can you get Violin Tumor? Wizards thought about that when they printed so Junji. They knew. They, they, they had to know. <laughs> so then where... Because what, what Junji then needs to get is Violin Tumor. Sure. Yeah. Um, so you put Clark Clo Cloister Gorgon on the graveyard? Yeah. Or something. Um, that would work. I now know more about Sephir's combos than I want to. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like at this point I could take Fuck. this deck somewhere and play it. Hey chat, everything. How is you doing today? I'm doing good. What's up, chat? Well, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> I had at least one extra venture, like floating that entire time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so let's say it was uh, when Jinji enters the battlefield, he gets Vile and Tumor. And the Vile and Tumor uh, entering is what would get the fine, like, finished off my ventures. Yeah. Okay. So it's no more ventures. Um, no more ventures. That would be the last venture, yes. They're on the stack. Vile and Tumor's triggers on the stack. Yeah. You get to go search a thing. Get a gargoyle when. Um, Daniel Schaap is saying violent tumor gets gargoyle, same thing happens. Yeah, I believe yeah. if you get gargoyle, yeah, same thing happens. That's same, you can anyway, it. here's Wonderwall. <laughs> 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 Said maybe we're dead if he can find his line to kill us. Um, it's got to be right. That would work. This is what happens during a $125 budget. Your combos are incredibly restrictive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're right, right, right. <laughs> Adrian, did you just hit him with the 2B continued? I did hit him with the 2B <laughs> continued. That exactly, that's exactly what I did. Everything's a JoJo's reference, really. Yeah, yeah it's, I think it's this fucker here. We'll sh shuffle. Um. I'm playing V-Ran next. Good. Gotta Good go part. fast. Rebel Arc! That, that's legal. So, so just real quick. What is happening now? now okay, so what, what happened is we Calvin had, wanted to do this line where you get back uh, the, the Dragonborn, right? You're, you're, Junji would get back Nadar. But, but you can't, because it's actually a dragon, and Junji specifies non-dragon, so you can't be weird with Junji. Um, so Calvin just tried to get weird with Junji. So what we're doing is... Instead of grabbing the dar, we grab violent tumor to put revel art. We're basically eradicating it because it was a new game action, and we actually could not continue the game from there. So yeah. I believe this is how it would actually work at a at a, at a competitive level tournament. Yeah, they would, would have, have, they would have you would get a game warning, and you'd be forced to rechoose legal targets. Yeah, Tristan, are you in the chat? You would actually know he's a judge. Uh, and from and worth, and I believe I had a floating venture that entire you did. time. You did. You had. You did have a floating venture. Um, the so we're just time. going off of I have completed a dungeon. We are done with. Uh, like, the, the stack's now empty. Yep. I can now sacrifice Junji. Yep. Uh, in order to pay two life to take this non-dragon. Which is relevant. Put it into play. That causes a venture trigger. Um, and just to make sure we get up there, we go back. We still go into two-minute annihilation. I don't think I corrected my life total from before. So you're good? Yeah. But we're not. Um, so we're back here. And then what I can do is I can sacrifice the Violin Tumor, put this into the graveyard, and then I can sacrifice the Rebel Arc. Putting... When Rebel Arc leaves the battlefield yep. at all, I then get two things. Uh, the things have to have power two this or less. Yep, this should do it. Uh, but we can just go grab... Agent of Treachery, Agent of Treachery and Vile and, and Tumor. Tumor. 
And then you can just we can we it. can stack the triggers so that I resolve violent tumor first. Yep. And the very first thing I can go Shit. get is karmic guide. karmic guide, which loops infinitely. Yeah. Grab karmic guide. I'm gonna respond. I'm gonna cycle street wraith. Paying two life. Yeah. I'll gain a life. You'll lose a life. All right, continue. You, this is where you play the fairy macabre. Yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> so from from here, this is the. Uh, Actually, there game. should be a fairy macabre in here. Probably. You can get it back to your hand with ghosts. So that's game. Yeah. Karmic guidance with right. battlefield, go resolve agent of treachery, I take someone's land, it doesn't matter. And then we would go resolve the uh, venture triggers. We had to sacrifice creatures, but we will end up sacrificing this agent of treachery, mm -hmm. is the main thing. And when the reanimate happens, we grab Re Revelark. We sacrifice Revelark and get these two. Oh, and wow. that loops, but we're gonna lose all our permanents. This yeah. loops by <laughs> itself, separates along the way out. <laughs> it just takes wow. all my permanents. Short lived. Short lived, it happens. God damn it, suffers. Holy shit. Spice. I was that like the best incarnation technique you've ever? Guy, you yes, got some shit in your beard. Thank you. That had to be. That was. Oh, it's. Yeah. It is. Nice. Go to the mirror. Yeah. Um, okay, that was it for first game. Um, we got a still suffrage win. I'm definitely gonna play Bayran next. I have the need for uncontrolled speed. Um, and then, well, yeah, put us on a short intermission because it's gonna be the same player. No, make it a longer intermission so if someone wants to eat their quesadilla, they can. Yeah. And we'll be, we'll be back shortly. Thanks for watching, and as always, fuck you. <laughs>